In the last video we were talking about pink aesthetic score and white aesthetic score. The characteristics of smile should be considered before starting the patient's aesthetic treatment to obtain adequate results in oral rehabilitation. The smile is a facial expression that usually indicates pleasure, sympathy or gratitude. Smile analysis is imperative in the diagnostic and planning phases in aesthetic dentistry. Parameters that constitute a natural smile There are several parameters. Let's analyze these items that play an important role in aesthetic evaluation of the smile. Papillary analysis and gingival zenith the papilla is the portion of gingival tissue that occupies the gingival embrasure, that is, the spatial in cervical region between two adjacent teeth. The papilla is essential for a harmonious smile, especially in cases of high smile. The papillae can fulfill the gingival embrasures. Can partially fill the gingival embrasures. The papillae may be absent or they can be hypertrophic. Lay person can identify the presence or absence of interdental papillae, even in a patient with a low smile line. The presence of papillae is a highly noticeable and desirable feature. Gingival zenith. It's the contour of the gingival margin of the teeth. A harmonious smile should exhibit a sense of parallelism between the gingival margin or zenith line and the bipupillary line. These lines may or may not be parallel, involving the aesthetics of the smile. Asymmetries in gingival contour can result in unpleasant smiles. The gingival zenith of the canine is more apical compared to the incisors. The zenith of the lateral incisor is about 1 mm for coronal compared to the zenith of central and canine. In the next videos, we'll look at other items that play an important role in the aesthetic evaluation of the smile.